Welcome everybody to another round of squadops.gg. We just restarted the service here to make sure that the YouTube streams are working great. But this is a Wednesday afternoon operation. We're rolling Operation Open Road here, which is a U.S. defense versus Russian mechanized infantry assault. We just swapped sides, so we'll take a look at the squad leaders for uh, this match. Right here, leading squad one is Satan, squad two, LaRue, squad three, Schmitty, squad four, Odessa. And command for the Russians right now is Xbit. Uh, we previously uh, just spectated Best Pony. Chappy, Fulcrum, Krusty, and Shadow Rituals attempt that round one, and they were able to execute the objective, taking out that primary fob and uh, limiting all U.S. infantry, but with the loss of three armored vehicles. We'll see if uh, uh, we'll see if uh, Xbit's able to do better or worse this round, uh, seeing if he's able to take the objective with his vehicles remaining, and see how Shadow Rituals sets up his defense. We're going to be watching here. Uh, a small overlay that our content creation team made that will explain the assets and objectives of this operation. So as you can see here on the screen, the U.S. gets two times Humvees and two times Logi to uh, run supplies. And the uh, Russians get two times BTRs and one times MTLB to assault the objective with. Uh, you'll also see the kits looking at the GLs, medics, and ARs for, uh, for both sides. And uh, as we swap here to the second slide, in a second, you'll be able to see the ob objective and objective area uh, on that second page. So as you can see here, the Russians have been pushed off off of the uh, airbase, and the U.S. is now setting up defenses, and Russian mechanized infantry units are planning a counterattack to retake the objective area, which is the airfield. So the Russians must take the fob that the U.S. Was places down on the airfield, and the U.S. obviously must hold that area. Uh, we're going to see what difference uh, ha what difference happens in execution here uh, now that we have different commanders on different sides. And we're going to see uh, these squads are now finishing their briefings. Uh, we got the squad leaders and command for the Russians here now leading their uh, – doing their command briefing, get, getting that uh, the, uh, that plan down. Xbit, like we said before in multiple other streams, he's extremely methodical when it comes to assaulting. He makes sure all of his units are in place and moves them up methodically and uh, boldly, knowing that he has all of his units in the proper position. So we'll see if that kind of follows through with this operation and making sure that he has a proper line set of and proper uh, forces in place. So we'll see how he decides to execute that assault. Shadowed Ritual going to be on the defense now on the U.S. We'll see how he sets up his defense. We saw last round that the U.S. had decided to put up the FOB in the center of the airfield and using a lot of their build points building Heska walls. It didn't really work quite effectively and not as much as I think Xbit would have hoped. We'll see how Shadow Ritual differs in his base defense. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's the operation and the assets. We're going to roll through and show you a couple of the overlays here now. Uh, this is a the, the BTR, which is what the Russians will be using as their primary vehicle this operation. They get two of these, as you can see here on the screen. And these BTRs are meant for light infantry fighting and fire, uh, light infantry fighting, fire support, and transport. So these things can pack quite a punch, but they cannot go head to toe. Uh, not head to toe, excuse me. Head to head with the striker. Strikers will uh, still decimate BTRs uh, head to head, but with proper positioning, these things can do a lot of damage, especially versus the US's Humvees. These things, while coordinated and in the proper position, will be able to completely shred through the US's Humvees. However, US does get a significant amount of light anti tank infantrymen to use against these BTRs. That means high explosive anti-tank rounds to eliminate these armored units. The second armored asset that the Russians get to use is the MTLB. The MTLB, a weaker version of the BTR, uh, not re not really holding up in the same amount as the armor. Uh, it's still got a weaker uh, defense, but it still has a very effective weapon on it. It is still utilized for light fire support, transport, uh, and, and can do its job. However, you do have to re remember that this vehicle is extremely loud. You cannot sneak these things up of the map so it'll be interesting to see how expert decides to utilize this vehicle in the operation knowing that is extremely uh loud we see russians now beginning their brief we're going to listen in here and uh see what expert has planned for the russians all right guys welcome back round two uh pretty good round last time it was pretty good round last time it was kind of fun uh, a little different right not loading all the guys onto the defense points and a lot of maneuvering on the outside didn't quite work out, but it was a good time anyways. Um, so this time we're the Russians. we got to find their fob and then destroy it. So the general plan is we're going to take the entire platoon in all three vehicles. Squad, uh, what is it, two is going to man the vehicles, and they're going to be control in control of the Dupe BTRs and the MTLB. We're going to take the entire platoon, load it up in the vehicles, and we're going to dismount over in November 10, way off the map edge there. 
Uh, the platoon is then going to get make a column or a line or whatever your squad leaders want, and we're going to start pushing from that position on foot to the uh, west southwest. Meanwhile, the two BT BTRs will take off. They're going to get high ground somewhere north of U.S. Main, get eyes on the Lodgy runs, and hopefully destroy the Lodgies. Uh, if they don't and they're not running, they're going to be able to look at airfield and tell us where they're set up in airfield. Maybe not precisely, but in the general area. Based on that information, then the squad leaders and I will formulate a quick little assault plan, and then we will assault, more likely from the east, unless they're set up hangars, which will then load up the platoon and we'll move uh, two squads in the MTLB all the way to the west so they can come up and defilade from the west. So, a couple of notes just on the assault. We're going to be doing um, any anything we attack on the east side, there's a trench so your squad leaders will probably have you bounding. So use smoke, uh, save your nades until you get to the wall. Uh, the BTRs will be suppressing. ARs, look for open windows. Remember that if they're in the window, they're framing themselves so you can get, get a good headshot on them. So just uh, remember bounding, bound as fire teams or whatever your squad leader wants you to do. And just momentum, always momentum. Once you get up on the bags or whatever they are, you know, GLs, go ahead and start blowing up sandbags from a distance. Uh, frags, and just uh, violence of action once you get onto the bags. Uh, you know, pick a buddy, say, hey, you come with me, and start just start ramming, ramming yourselves in there with a lot of firepower and grenades. Um, that's the only way we're going to be able to clear them off wherever they're set up. If they're set up in the southeast... It should be pretty good for us because the BTRs can pick, pick a pretty good high ground and uh, be able to suppress them on the east side so that the infantry can get really close. And then from that point, we'll lift fire. You guys can assault the actual FOB itself. So uh, just a couple of notes. They do have two Humvees, which uh, they may use as emplacements. They may use as like skirmishing, kind of flanking units like we did. So always be aware of that. We don't have anything to combat the Humvees other than BTR and MTLB. So... Just be careful, uh, use good, uh, you know, uh, distance between you and your buddies so that you just don't become a cluster of uh, uh, 50 caliber uh, goo for them. Any questions? All right, I'm going to let your squad leaders go ahead and be the final briefings, and then we'll sort out the vehicles, we'll get loaded up, and good luck to everybody. All right, as we can see, Expert taking a uh, different approach this He's going to make sure he gets enough intel, gets enough scouting information before he makes an assault plan. And then on the spot, he's going to create that assault plan and execute. So we'll see how that works out going in kind of open-minded and then allowing himself to gather all that information uh, before he makes that assault. Uh, Russia is now ready. We're going to fly on over to uh, the U.S. and see how they're set up. Uh, great job last round, everybody. We did a great assault team there, uh, position. Uh, now it's our turn to defend the airfield. The plan will be as follows. Squad 1, Pony Squad, will be taking the good fob, the actual fob, the actual fob on the green, on the green fob marker, and they will be building up everything in there. They'll get, I think, two MGs. And uh, that's where you'll be. Squad 2 will be on the sniper mark, watching the west side of the airfield and maybe the north side if, if they decide to come through that direction. Squad 3 will be in both of the Humvees, and they will be a QRF force on our southeast. Squad 4 will be building their own FOB to the south of the uh, actual fob, it's the fake fob, and they will be holed up there. Where we are actually at is up to your squad lead, uh, so just listen to what they have to say. Are there any questions? Cool. No questions. Squad leads break map. Final details. We'll call for that.
All right, both teams set for live here. We're going to be let going live in a couple minutes now. Uh, we can see that the difference in the U.S. defense this round is Shadow Rituals opting for the Southeastern Industrial right? Compound this time instead of that open uh, center. He's going to be able to construct uh, a different kind of defense, and we're going to see how that works out for him using this different compound. There's a lot more innate cover here. We have a uh, we have a uh, Humvee overlay we're going to show you right here, which is a... Uh, light vehicle for the u.s it's going to be going up, up against these btrs mtlbs so positioning so is going to be extremely get, important these things are extremely the, light armored BTR, so btrs or mtlbs are going to be able to do damage as you can see this is also, also the open top on me which means the, uh, the gunners are going to be exposed to enemy fire uh, from small arms, so we're gonna see how that uh, how Shadow Ritual can use these Humvees to affect in this round. I'm, I'm taking the road all the way to Lima, then I'm taking the road down, going off road around. I basically want to be able to get our eyes. I want to get our eyes on this defilade. To the so we're gonna be li going live in about 30 seconds here, and we're gonna watch uh, the U.S. defense for a little bit, and then uh, switch over to see as uh, the Russians get a little closer what their plan is going to be. Check. Yeah, I'll be letting you guys know when to dismount. By the way, I think you guys are awesome. You're the best. Not yet. And we're live. U.S. now starting up to build their defenses. We'll see how uh, they decide to construct it. First thing going down, as you can see, 150 cal bunker on the edge of this combat. This is actually a great place to watch the majority of the airfield. They'll be able to see everything coming in from the hangar side of the uh, objective. Uh, we do see a U.S. squad pushing out to those hangars to ensure that they have infantry presence over there. And then uh, we have both the Humvees here now setting to move out from their current location. Looking at the map for the Russians, there looks like, look like they're going to convoy straight south eastbound out of the uh, Russian main and uh, Shadow looks like he's going to be setting up his defense right here on this small little elevated piece of ground next to the uh, fob so not exactly playing directly on the objective but playing around it he's conceding the entire north end of the compound which is all those admin buildings up north which is in my opinion a very strong place to hold because you have all those windows to lock down uh, objective areas but we're going to see how this industrial side compound works for him um, he's going to be ensuring that uh, so we can see over it that everything here works as planned. Target right here. See how I'm walking. And yeah. yeah. Uh, east to west. You can see a uh, small little fighting position going down over here. Logi checks will be making their runs. We have one U.S. squad on the southeast here. This is the Humvee squad. I do. I do think. Yeah, this is the Humvee squad. They're going to kind of QRF. They're going to be sitting back here until called forward, and they'll be in position and be ready to move to wherever Shadow Ritual needs them to be. So instead of going on a roaming patrol, it looks like they're going to sit back there in the southeast, uh, kind of as a QRF element, uh, moving once contact is initiated on the t onto the flank. Logi drivers doing their job, running Logi to and from the objective. Since this uh, point is so close to the U.S. main, they're going to be able to get quite a few rounds in here before the Russians push in. We're going to zoom all the way up to the north end of the map and watch what the Russians are doing. It looks like they're still going to be convoyed in to the center of the map uh looks like they're going far east this time instead of direct uh west like uh ritual did but we'll see how they uh see how they'll execute their plan we see all the vehicles now moving off to the east mtlb in the rear both btrs gunning it down the highway So Yehurivka, we all know to be that huge open map. They're going to be coming in from the flank on the side. The airfield is actually on a very elevated piece of ground, but it's not steep enough to where you can see the entirety of the map. There is a gradual decline in the elevation from the airfield from the rest of the map. So Russia will be able to use that eastern hill to kind of uh, ascend under the defilade and be able to get closer without being seen. However, the fact that they're bringing the MTLB with the BTRs is going to be that mean that there's a loud, loud, loud noise to this whole convoy. And hopefully they aren't heard or spotted by either the roaming Lodges or the uh, the Humvee squad if they decide to get moving. But BTRs here rolling by.
And yeah, this convoy just taking it cautiously down the MSR. We're gonna, they're still about maybe a thousand meters out. So we're gonna zoom over to the Americans who are most likely gonna be building up their defenses. I'm really interested to see how Shadow Ritual is gonna be setting up his defense. So we're gonna fly over here and take a look at what he is building. And everyone's got their shovels out just standing by for those stakes. You can see a kind of uh, combat position here on the southwest. This is a really interesting location as it's not quite on the hill, but it's just enough watching the southeast. This is a really dangerous place. As you can see on the ground level here, that southwestern approach, there's a cliff and a drop off. So Russians can get pretty close to the, this objective and there won't be any eyes on um that infantry movement, but we'll see if this works out for Shadow. Um, it's going to be pretty challenging to hold this position, I think, mainly because of the, the kind of area that it's in. I would have much preferred the uh, fighting position to be placed maybe right here on this rock where you can see a lot more of these open fields and you still can manage that eastern side. So I think this might have been a little bit of a more advantageous position, but we'll see how this uh, position works for Shadow Ritual. It might work to their advantage because if they're able to cut these lines of sight, for example, as we talked about over here in the southeast, since you cannot see this objective without getting close to it, he might be able to bait the BTRs in, which might be what he's planning to do with this uh, location, is bait those BTRs in and then hit them with that as they get engaged. Whereas if they opted for this spot with a large amount of uh, visual, uh, vision, uh, the BTRs could be engaging them for as far as 500 meters out on a stationary target. So we'll see uh, what happens with that cop and how, how they're managing to hold, hold that. But they're going to continue constructing. Uh, we're going to zip on over here to the Russian convoy once again, see what progress is being made on their side. I love building forts. Super proud that are actually useful. All right, so it looks like they are going to be ascending this eastern hill. And like we talked about before, how there's no eyes over here. You can see that large hill really does cut any line of sight across this side of the map. So Russians are pretty free and open to make any movement that they want over here on the eastern side. They're keeping the MTLB in the back, which is a good choice. As you can tell, it is loud. It is an extremely loud vehicle. Uh, we're still like flying about 400 meters out and you can still hear that thing rumbling. So uh, these BTRs on the other hand, pretty quiet in comparison. So we're going to see how close they can get before they decide to dismount. Uh, they will be in position coming from this eastern side to engage on those lodges if they so choose. Uh, but knowing that they'll, uh, knowing that, oh, we have a misfire from one of the MTLB or the BTR. That what could be that? pretty devastating. Misfire, I think. They might have just broadcasted yeah, their location we'll see if a uh, u.s is paying attention to that but a misfire on the russian Dismount. side that was a friendly charge you can see the majority of the uh, russian team here now dismounting about 700 no excuse me this is almost a thousand meters still from the objective they right, haven't really been the uh pushing too close so uh they're going to be pushing in on foot it looks like from the east Squad, you're going to be the uh, lead squad. Let's try to get into the draw that's in Mike 13.5 and start moving west from there. Copy. Doesn't look like U.S. Uh, heard this vehicle, so they're still going to be pushing in here. So, uh, Xmit taking his methodical pro approach as we uh, we anticipated. He's getting all his guys online. He's getting all his ducks in a row. And he's going to push in uh, slowly from the southeast, eastern side. However, this is a long approach. This is no fast assault. This is going to be methodical and take a lot of time. So if Shadow Ritual can once again exploit that time between contact, he can get a lot of Lodgy runs in. And he can really defend his position with the proper emplacements. So that infantry squad plus mechanized infantry vehicles are going to be pushing out on the eastern side. We'll see how close they get um, until contact is initiated. But as you can see here, these lodges still doing their runs, uh, just chugging along the, the mountainside here, back and forth, dropping off supplies. And we're going to fly on over to... Uh, the cop and see what kind of progress has been made they've almost they've almost secured the entirety of the uh area 
He's got he's two sets forward. of building on the uh, objective as well as on yeah. the point itself. Could you have like a fire team a hook it to look north so we're not so we have like 360? All right, copy. They're using the hab as a kind of funnel here on this south entrance. And a pretty effective fob. The only downside to this compound, however, is that uh, Russians do have GLs to dismantle these sandbags. And it's very open from overhead cover, so grenades are going to be extremely uh, fatal here. Oh, and BTR is engaging right now. Engaging the Lodgy. US might lose a Lodgy here. Very far out. Yeah, fire on. Yeah, I got eyes on. I it's the MTLB to the northeast. Second Lodgy driving in here is taking fire as he like drives in. That's a BTR. Shout over to us. Eyes on the BTR. BTR. We'll see if he decides to do anything with that QRF. Uh, yeah, both BTR spotted in the northeast. No eyes in the MTLB. No instruction yet from the U.S. He's just going to keep holding his defense tight. He's not going to outmaneuver or yeah, yeah, yeah. Saw, spread himself too thin right here. He's BTRs. continuing to build up the fob and uh, create a defensive position here. And yeah, not too much contact happening uh, too soon. We have the lodges being engaged on by the BTRs. BTRs actually wolf packing over here. They're going to try to get uh, close and engage both these lodges. If he can take out both these lodges, that will be no mean, mean no more supplies for the U.S. And these lodges are kind of just sitting here out in the open. I'm not quite sure what kind of call this is. This is not what they should be doing. They should be moving. They're about to get caught in the open here by these BTRs. And this is not good. This is uh, who's over here? Right. Got server yeah, error and Han Solo here about to get destroyed by these BTRs. BTRs yeah. now rolling up there within visual range. Uh, They're gonna have eyes on these infantrymen, and this is night night for this Lodgy team right here. Let's get, let's get you guys the light closer. This is the BTRs cleared off. Copy. How many can the MTL be? Had to get out of there. It just. And that's night night for the Lodgy squad. Time Lodgy down. Time Lodgy down. Nice work. Alright, we just lost both Lodgies. That's fine. But that means all of their vehicles are to the uh, east of us. So, Xbit Methodical really Play working out to time. his uh, advantage. He's going to slowly just dismant dismantle uh, Shadow Ritual's defense, especially now with both these Lodgies down. That is going to be zero. Supplies incoming for the US. US is going to have to make do with what they currently have. So, hopefully, Shadow has enough. Uh, points to maintain this fob. Looks like this QRF squad is mounted up and ready to move. We'll see where they decide to head out. Squad, or command, where would you like us to go? Have the NTLB dismount you in link 13 to get into the draw there. Copy that. Wait, those BTRs are now to our direct east. And I think those BTRs are now circling this lone U.S. soldier over here on the east. There's a draw that runs through the 13th row. Squad 1, MTLB is moving to And he's trying to just hide underneath this thing, but he's about to get taken out from from either side here now. Caught between a BTR and a BTR. <laughs> it's like sharks in the water.
He's not I moving a muscle. To where the BTR is just east of it, a grid. How you want like Lima thirteen keypad four? If he survived this, yeah, I'll be quite amazed. Juliet thirteen six. Copy. Oh no! Oh, he's dead. He's dead. That's night night for the Logi team. Frosty. Never want to need 360 degrees. I want eyes everywhere. I'm gonna get fucked from the south. Right, Shadow Ritual now. Uh, now done with his building. They're gonna be just awaiting the Russian assault at this point. See quite the defense here set up. Sufficient amount of sandbags and Heska walls. He also has two uh, 50 cals set up. One tripod here looking east and one bunker here. Oh, that's just a standard bunker. Excuse me. Uh, Alpha, you're second in command. And then, D and then uh, Bravo. Copy that. And the U.S. have quite the bunker set up here. Yeah, be advised, my MTLB thinks he might have saw one enemy contact near your pause. Over. Uh, command be advised, their hab is set up in the little cheeky south spot. Yeah, south spot. They're, yeah, they're set up there. They're fully set up. In both the south BTRs south have area. eyes on. Now we'll see if they're Let's engaging any of these heads that pop yeah. up. Lots of no, uh, emplacements and everything. All right, copy that. All right, don't to our east, real close. Like a hundred, hundred fifty meters out. The good news is this is designed to be BTR free because every not, every shoot angle do not the peak. bunker. Do not peek. Do not peek. Yeah, do not peek. There are two BTRs to our west right now. Direct east. Yeah, sorry, east, east. Two BTRs to our east right now. He's right on top of the hill. Copy. So both BTRs are to our east. You can probably see. Red, I have a 50 do. facing east. <laughs> if you can man it and see if this guy can peek forward, if you can get a lot of shots on it, we'll we'll sick the uh, Humvees on him. But for now, Humvees sit tight. You're still sitting two with two, right? BTR. Both vehicles here just quietly looking. It's all quiet on the eastern front. Ooh, lat shot comes out, falls short about 50. BTRs are gonna pull out. That one shot's gonna scare them off a little bit. And US is wasting lats that they can't afford to waste right now. MG, MG is too low, I can't see it. Yeah, hang back and have it let it do overwatch from the rear, rear and north. Alright, copy. Yeah, that road is high. It's gonna have to be closer for me to see it. Maybe their infantry is somewhere else. Oh, so, yeah, They're walking into that 50 cal right now. Ooh, gets a couple pings off, actually. And these BTRs might be charging straight into these Humvees over here in the west. No, it looks like this one's going to turn around. So Russians kind of regrouping after that initial probing. They got the intel, took out two, uh, two uh, lodges, and now the rest of the Russian platoon is now moving in on foot. So we can see right here, pull this up. Let's got the whole Russian platoon here over on the east. 
We'll see if putting all of his uh, troops on one flank is going to work. Yes. Uh, if he uses uh, if he uses that suppressive fire from the uh, BTRs efficiently, he should be able to suppress while his infantry pushes. We'll see how that works. But we can see Expert once again being extremely methodical with this formation. He's got uh, squads in their positions, MTOB in the back, BTRs in the front. Um, just being ex extremely methodical. This is the uh, Expert that we know and love. And uh, we'll see how, how effective this plan is going to be upon execution. Just slowly pushing up. Russians moving along this eastern flank there. Now reaching that Lodgy position. Uh, no U.S. forces over here. Oh, and they might have caught the Humvees. This is bad for the U.S. This is extremely bad. One Humvee's going to go down here, I'm pretty sure. If they both make it out, that will be a miracle. Wow. Both Humvees making it out alive. Both BTRs are too, still to our south. Go ahead and pull those BTR uh, Humvees back. We're not going to use those again. BTR is now moving up on the south. He's in position. He's getting pinged by the Humvee. Humvee landing a lot of shots. BTR catches fire. He's going to back up. Second BTR trading out. They're going to tag team. See if they can get eyes on this uh, Humvee again. They're both lit. They're to our southeast. Yep. Surprisingly, both Humvees managing to hold. Right? But they cannot be going head to head with these vehicles. They will lose once the BTRs get eyes on and acquire their sights. BTR rolls up again. It gets hit again by the uh, by another Humvee. He's taking a lot of shots. Humvee's gonna zip out again. You can see that smoking wreck heading back behind the uh, thing. You can see these these Humvees trying to trade shots and go toe to toe, but it's just not working out quite well. Both Humvees now behind the cop. Those emplacements uh, are coming into use here. Again, both BTRs, how low are these BTRs? Both BTRs are yellow, uh, while those Humvees are orange. So uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see if these two vehicles are Swing able to the other side of the continue the other engaging side. here. We have all these U.S. heads. Look at all these U.S. heads. Just curious. Just curiously peeking over the, the Hescos. Just hey, what's up? What's going on over here? Like 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 uh oh, one Latchar comes out. Falls short about 50 meters. BTRs short, engage. Actually. They're not too happy about they that. Get up on this. Second lat shot comes out. That one nearly connects. B BTR rolls back just in time. US engaging too far out. They're trying to scare these vehicles out, but they cannot be wasting lat shots. These are ma uh, Hail Mary uh, lat shots right now that they cannot be afforded to be sh shooting. If they run out of lat, there will be no way to disable the armor. I was in the fucking shelter. <laughs> And this U.S. cop just kind of suppressed. They're like they're like hedgehogs, not hedgehogs. I start scouting out a way. What's that the, what what, what animal is that? Delayed. Someone Should someone help me here. Directly eat of it with some trees. Meerkats. That's what they are. They're like yes. meerkats. Jeez. There you go. Yeah, there is. Uh, both BTRs promise. now pushing There's further west. west. They might Don't get engaged on by these uh, humvees as they one. sweep around the west here. Both Humvees pushing. I'm not sure about this plan. One Humvee's going to go down. I'm not quite sure about that. I'm not quite sure about that. Don't don't know what that was. Humvee's kind of just driving straight in there. I'm not sure if they saw the BTR's maneuver, but that was not the not the call to make right there. That was that was the incorrect the incorrect call. Oh, one slash out really close. U.S. is wasting lats. They're gonna have a lot of problems with these, yeah, with these, uh, with this armor. That's five lats, two Humvees down. Well, there goes the uh, trans that they're using as defense. And this is no bueno. These lat kits on the southwestern near the hangars might have uh, an opportunity here. But I'm not quite sure. 
U.S. losing a lot of troops. Ten ditch. troops down so far for U.S. This is not looking good. Who's down? All of Squad 3, once again, Fulcrum Squad getting hit really hard off the bat. They are down already. And these two BTRs already, already dismantling this U.S. defense. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. You just trying to engage with small arms. I, I wanna That's not really going to do anything. This is their in fire. Jack, move, move your BTRs to the east and fire over Copy. squad three and one. Hey, fair. There is a 50 cal here behind the barbed wire. They're, I think they're trying to bait the BTRs out into the open. The, uh, MTLB hold also. Fucking buff. I know what he's doing. You're going to be our like last speed. <laughs> it's built up a pretty big defense over here. <laughs> Fucking buff. You want me shooting yeah. over Squad Three's head, right? Negative. Yep. Get hot. Yep, get high ground so that you can suppress the east side so it keeps their heads down so one and three can bound four. When one and three are about halfway there, four is going to load up in the MTLB and they're going to dart in and unload on the wall. So Shadow knows that the MTLB is still unaccounted for. He's going to be waiting. Uh, we're going to see how Rush is able to execute upon this foul defense. They've already done a great job engaging what they can. Humvee on the east engaging the uh so let me know when the, the BTR he actually nails it with the shots. No. He's hitting them right now as well. Oh, return fire coming in from the BTRs. He's gonna keep on the trigger. Oh, he gets picked off. A big 14.5 round through the dome. Takes off his head. Now US Really, really low here on anti-armor assets. BTRs. Oh, that's the MTLB actually moving in closer. And XBit starting that methodical approach. However, Saws engaging the infantry. We'll see if that suppression is enough to keep them pinned. Rushing infantry actually confused, engaging on a weird angle. Uh, we'll see if uh, see if they're able to hold. They're, they're going small arms against this 14.5 cannon out here. And U.S. is in a really, really bad position. Oh, we have to wait. We have to be vigilant. They'll pass us BTR slowly creeping up MTLB. You can see those three armored pieces on the right hand side of the screen. So XBit has split up. His infantry is pushing on the left of this tree line that's in the center cutting it. And you can see the three armored pieces on the right. Uh, very methodical. We always talk about how methodical XBit is, and you can really see that happening right now. Um, Squad ones and BTRs yeah. are very low on ammo. Copy that. US taking half their casualties already. They, this is not looking good for US. That BTR says, no, 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 you don't touch that 50 cal, as he sends a couple 14.5 rounds over here. Now, oh, there goes another soldier for the U.S., All right, one and, three and they're just getting lines. whittled down, just slowly dismantling this uh, U.S. cop over here. Remember, those 14.5 cannons do do damage to the sandbags with enough rounds. Say again, command, who's going to be leading this? One and three are going to bound at the same time. You guys can bound as fire teams or buddy teams. And Xbit once again, extremely Smoke methodical. Right. Got all of his guys Smoke online Smoke. right now. In, uh, vehicles on the right. This is going to be pretty, pretty uh, hard for the U.S. to hold back. The one thing that U.S. has going for them is that this is one large open field. You're going to load up. You're going to race in. You're going to unload on the wall. So we're about to see quite the epic Russian push here. We'll swap over to their perspective. As we see pops going, uh, smoke skin popped. This Russian line about to start their massive assault here. Smoke's going out. You can see this, uh, this trench on the east really working out for the Russians. This is a textbook assault. BTR's uh, suppressing positions. Infantry set to push. 
Nine see a BTR down. engaging. Three's ready. Alright. Um, can we? Is there a view on us? No. Not enough smokes coming out here. We'll see if the rest of the platoon, platoon ends up opening up on the smokes. They're trying to engage that tower. US has already abandoned that tower. They're pushing off. They got fire team pushing along the north there. They're gonna be caught out of position. And here come all the smokes. You got movement on the right and left. BTR's pushing up. Standard uh, textbook assault with the armor guarding the infantry. And uh, more and more smoke coming out. It's gonna be extremely hard to hold this. Russians cannot get stuck in the open. They need to maintain that momentum before they get caught in the open. Hey, now, the one main thing that really hurt the uh, U.S. defense here was there was not enough HMG support on the east. I think he was relying on the, uh... Oh, and a full Russian just squad just dropped up squad on the wall. They're going to frag over the wall here in a just, second. Just this is going to be extremely bad. And U.S. now in a very bad spot. Very, very bad spot. Grenades coming in, nothing effective. Counter grenades by the U.S. actually taking out a couple of the uh, Russians here, yeah, and this entire up. compound is just exploding. One grenade here, however, on the south side could do quite a bit of damage. See U.S. on the north trying to help this uh, like this position, but uh, nothing yet. Roger, copy that. Jack, can you reposition the MTLB to watch the southwest? Uh, Ooh, grenade landing really close. I think it actually copy. gets like three, four of them to bleed right there. Oh, Saw locking down this uh, position here. And more and more yeah, frags maybe. getting traded back and forth. Four, how's it going down there? Did you get wiped? Lots of fragmentation going back and forth here. Sandbags exploding. He's with you as you can. And Russians have breached the compound now. Oh, U.S. doing a good job holding that inner compound. They've given up the cop. There's uh, but one lone U.S. soldier here as the Russians clear out that cop. But still a good amount of U.S. infantry here. Manage to stop that massive Russian push. We'll see if the rest of this uh, Russian platoon can get, can get in here. But U.S. has good angles on the entrances. All right. We're inside grenade range, guys. MG, move to my location. Just watch west. Watch any formation on the... Uh... And now the smoke coming out, concealing the defenders. Lines of sight, it's going to be extremely hard for us to hold this compound. Going, going, going. Ooh, this US soldier getting a lot of damage in. Bad frag on the north, shame. And we do have a breach right here on the north. One lone, or actually two U.S. soldiers still left in the compound. Yeah, watch for mine. Stand up and watch. Gotcha.
Three is contact two nine two. Or And that's it. All U.S. has been cleared out of the compound. Just a matter of time until the Russians take control of that compound. This last U.S. squad over here in the south caught out in the open, out of position. We talked a lot about uh, positioning and the importance on this uh, map, especially because of those long sight lines. And you can really see how once you get caught out of position, it's extremely hard to get back to the objective. Uh, Russians using the uh, Americans' own defense against them. One frag from this lone American. I'm not sure if that went far enough. No, it did not. BTR's out here. This whole infantry squad caught out in the open. I think this is it for the U.S. And yeah, the rest of the U.S. just getting mopped up here in the open. Flanking to our south. From the clears the compound. Road. Fortified compound. Three U.S. soldiers left alive. They're gonna try to push, but uh, we'll see. Four, excuse me, four, five, five U.S. soldiers. BTR spots one. Was that a one tap over here? Was that a dirty one tap? It was. There's a lot of fire being traded back and forth right now. So fob. Enemy fob is down. Copy. I think this US soldier is still alive. Yeah, he's still alive. So US infantry just caught out in the open here. We're winding down here as the rest of the US infantry gets mopped up. Taking over all squads to get a set rep. BTR rolls in. He's gonna try to mop up the infantry over here. Yeah, we take out the enemy fob. We're just holding our position. They've gotta push us. He gets taked out. Copy. Taken out. Do I have comms of BTR? Uh, negative. I don't. Three is four effective. We have contact. We're west northwest. Do we have comms on two? Anybody? Wait a second, three. We are four effective. We have contact to our west northwest. Copy, you got cover there? We do, we're holding up well. Squad two, you there? I don't think we have comms in two. Copy. BTR on the move, looking to mob up the rest of the uh, defense. Do we want to use the vehicles as troop transports? We can move them around. Squads. And All these right. two troops Squads getting two. up close using BTR, uh, right? using yeah, these bushes as cover to bound up, but right, I don't think they're going to be able to get much closer. Probably north, northeast of your other BTR here. Fire down into the hangars, to the hangars they have on a... All, all oh, oh this US soldier actually out. makes it across the entire hill. Copy. Oh, good frag. We can Doesn't manage to it. nail anybody, but he did get it in there. Second frag? Second frag. He's gonna be pushing the wall here. He's gonna get plugged as soon as he turns his corner, unless he's extremely lucky. Oh, he decides to nope out of that door. Breach on the west side of the uh, down. Yeah, they are.
Oh, that US troop goes down. It's left to, uh, who is this? Who's this lone soldier? Termi! The last man alive, crawling through enemy lines. This is BTR, very close. He's gonna try to frag the BTR. Termi trying to crawl closer and closer to the fob. Actually making it pretty close. He's past the BTR at this point. So he's trying to get closer and closer. His BTR actually looking over this direction, however. So he might get plugged by the BTR any moment here, but uh We'll see if he can take any Russians down with him. Oh, he's up, he's up, he's up. He's down again. This BTR does not spot him. He's now in some good cover. Oh, he is he is pretty exposed here. He's panicking. A little scared. Gets it gets in the little cubby hole. He's like, I don't wanna I don't wanna do this right now. Both BTRs just like sharks in the water, man. Termi takes out his pistol. <laughs> Try to do the saving private Ryan thing. Do we know what we fishing is? What's the word, squad? And he's gonna go out, popping some smoke, trying to go out in style here. And that is GG. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to pull a couple of our commanders in here for a post-operation debrief. And uh, we're going to do that right now. So stand by. We have Expit and Shadowed Ritual on the channel. Say hello, gentlemen. Hey, hey how's it going? Hello. Good work. That was some uh, some interesting Ooh, rounds right there. Cool. I did have fun inspecting those <laughs> rounds. Um, sure. some, some really... I, got an I, I have to say now. unorthodox oh, strategies there, uh, Shadowed, both rounds. And then... Exhibit coming back in round two with that really organized, methodical approach that we all know and love uh, from your commanding. So I'd have to say, uh, what do you think was the turning point in round two? Where, where did you start to feel that pressure, uh, Shadow? Um, it was as soon as we lost both of the Lodges, like that it wasn't communicated to us from the Lodge drivers that they were being attacked at first, and it was the really the explosion like, that got our attention. And that's whenever. Um, we really are like, all right, well, we've got both of these BTRs accounted for. There's an MTLB that can hold two full squads, and, like, Xbits likes to move his things around a lot. And so we were just, we were worried that we'd, we'd already had our logic supply cut off, and there was still an entire vehicle that potentially had two squads in it, just unaccounted for. Mm-hmm. Uh, Xbit, I gotta ask, what, uh, round one, what was your thinking putting two squads into Central Novo? Um, I figured that the OP Humvees were going to spot a maneuver otherwise, and I figured that's uh, most like, once they got eyes on, they saw that we were set up in the airfield, I figured that they were going to dismount in the village there and then come down because that's a good, good spot for cover to approach. So I figured, well, we'll just sit there and wait for them and then delay them, and if not, then we could just pull them back and uh, hopefully secure the northeast buildings so that our east side of the fob is hold, held pretty tight, but they, they didn't enter. They didn't go there. <laughs> well, that was that was unfortunate first round, but it was definitely an interesting strategy, strategy to see. Uh, Shadow, I know it's that round two, you decided to concede uh, those north buildings instead of the uh, hangars. What in the, well, as a commander, what made you make that decision of choosing the hangars over the buildings on the north? Um... The buildings on the, the, the north, I, I feel like they're they're almost a trap because it leaves, you know, set points that the, the BTR has to look at. And with this this south south uh, spot, I felt that we were able to, to basically choose where we wanted to see them at. Like we got to choose our, our firing our, our lines that we'd be able to fire down uh, and I it sort of we hoped it would throw off the uh, the BTRs. Right, yeah, because I couldn't help but notice that during that round two, if you had infantry in that uh, in that buildings on the north, you would have been able to have full line of sight uh, and an enfilade firing position on that crossing across that massive field. Um, 
And and I feel like that would have been really cool to see is this massive Russian push. Great job, by the way, Xbit. As always, uh, that that methodical and really clear decision making on your part, moving piece by piece, almost like a game of chess, uh, slowly dismantling um, on your assault. That was extremely um, cool to watch. Uh, what was your what was your opinion or what is your thoughts regarding uh, using all of your platoon in one area instead of um, splitting on the flank on an, on an offensive operation? So I, I knew if they're going to set up in the southeast corner that it was going to take a lot of firepower to get the platoon there because it's been tried before and they get cut up in the open. And like you said, if they were set up in the north there, they, it would have been a mass massacre. So I, I figured I needed the full platoon to push. And as you saw, it's like 50% casualties just to get there. And then trying to get inside was just a mess. So mm -hmm. I figured if the full platoon was there, that's that's the best way to do it. That way there's guys around and they can get that momentum and, and try to crush the inner defenses quickly. The MTLB pushing in on us and dismounting the full squad, that's really what, what broke that whole like our, our whole eastern flank, like suddenly we're having to worry about guys in our walls and everything. Like it was oh, you like that? Really, yeah, it was really cool the way you were, you were just fucking suicide. We thought it was just like a suicide mission on the MTLB, but it dismounted a full squad and that really threw threw everything into uh, chaos. Uh, the Humvees, that last final push with the Humvees shadowed. What was uh, what was the game plan there? I'm interested. Um, so I told them to peek out, and they they took that as to chase it. But like we were winning some of those fights, I felt with the, the those Humvees trades against. were really impressive for Humvees versus BTRs. Yeah, like we I felt we were winning some pretty those. impressive trades. And then I told them to peek out as they're moving, as they starting to move, so that way the the BTRs would be thrown off balance, like because they're moving. But they mm -hmm. took that as they took that more as to chase it. And right as I was saying, don't don't really chase. I want you to have a stable firing platform. They they went up. They had already been hit a lot. It was already pretty late into that vehicle fight. But yeah, the BTRs, they didn't have any more competition and they were, they just ran rampant. It was crazy. Yeah, that was definitely a great show put on by both you, Xbit. Can always note your uh, commanding, your commanding uh, strategy and style uh, in every game. I really do. I really do appreciate that style i really do uh enjoy spectating that that full platoon organization in line and i'm glad that we got to see uh unorthodox strategies by both of you around uh, one as well so thank you shadow once again for for being able to show us how to take that compound with that south push i think that that uh fob in the center was definitely something that we have not seen before at least i have never seen yeah, that fob definitely. placed down in the center of the airfield but that was definitely a good time to watch thank you so much uh for coming on uh thank you so much to pen our mixer behind the scenes our man behind the scenes pen is the one who mixes all of these uh multi-cam perspectives together so a huge shout out to him thank you so much my name is karma cut i'm the founder and director here over at squad ops so thank you for joining us uh once again this was squad ops.gg hosting operation open road a one life event on squad you can check Check out more at squadops.gg, youtube.com slash squadops, and twitch.tv slash squadops for more content and information. Thank you so much. Once again, if you are looking to get a copy of Squad, check out our twitch.tv slash squadops page where we give away one uh, Squad game key every month. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you all next time. This is Squad Ops signing off.